Hi there and welcome to today's episode of What the F is for Dinner. Tonight's meal is inspired by the fact that I have an awful lot of leeks that I need to use up. So I'm going to make a leaky chicken pot pie. So this is what we're starting out with. We have the white parts of two large leeks that I've chopped up. And I chopped up a few mushrooms. And this is one medium sized carrot that I've peeled and also chopped up. So I've got a fairly large saucepan on medium heat on my stove, and I'm going to start off with adding a bunch of olive oil, just like that. And then I'm going to put the leeks in. Stir it around a bit. And let these soften up. For so now you can see that the leeks are uh, softened up a bit, and some of them are even turning brown. Not to say they're burning, they're caramelizing. So at this point, I'm also going to put the carrots in and let them cook up for a bit. I know everything's just a little bit more cooked. And I'm going to add the mushrooms. Alright, so now everything has started to soften up nicely. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to take my casserole dish. I'm just going to put all of this into the casserole dish, just for now. Um, I'm going to mix it all back together in the saucepan later. And I'll set this aside. I'm going to add a bit more olive oil to the pot. And then I'm going to take my chicken, which I cut up while I was waiting for the vegetables to cook. And I'm going to cook the chicken now. So now it's several minutes later. And I think the chicken is cooked. Now you can see it's all opaque. So, once again, I'm going to take my casserole dish. And I'm just going to transfer the chicken into it. Just on top of all the other stuff. Just like that. And set it aside again. And then we need to make the sauce. This is uh, approximately two tablespoons of butter. I'm just going to add that to the pan. So about two, two tablespoons of flour. And mix that into the melted butter. And I'm just going to cook and stir this over medium low heat for a few minutes. This is called making a roux, by the way. And I'm going to take a cup of milk and just pour it right in. And then whisk it up. Increase the heat a bit. And as this cooks, uh, as it comes to a boil, it'll thicken up nicely. And then that's the sauce. Um, most people, obviously, for a, a pot pie would make uh, gravy, but for a chicken pot pie, I actually really enjoy this, this white sauce instead of gravy. And you can see that's pretty thick already. So I'm going to go back to my casserole now. I'm just going to dump everything back into the pot. And mix it up into the sauce. Now I haven't added any sort of flavorings at this point, so uh, now's the time to do that. I'm just going to put a pinch of kosher salt. Fairly generous amount of coarsely ground black pepper. And then 
let's see, what else? How about some dry basil? And some thyme, lots of dry thyme. sage because sage is so nice with chicken. I think that's probably good enough. So we'll mix that around. And then I think that's probably finished. So I'm going to put the whole mess back into the casserole dish now. Turn off the heat. So that's the base portion of the pot pie finished. Now we just need to make the topping. So when I make a pot pie, I like to have a biscuit dough style topping instead of a more traditional pastry topping. So let's make some biscuits. In this bowl, I have two cups of flour and three and a half teaspoons baking powder, half a teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, and uh, three teaspoons or one tablespoon of uh, white sugar. And I have uh, one cup of milk and one quarter cup of butter or margarine, uh, margarine in this case. So that's the basic recipe for the biscuits, but in this case I'm going to add um, a bunch of dried thyme to the dry ingredients just because we're using this as a topping for something savory and I think that would be pretty good. And I'll just mix it up with a spoon. And then I'm just going to throw the margarine in and I'm going to use my pastry cutter to cut it into the flour. It's very important that your butter or margarine is cold when you do this, otherwise it'll just mush into the flour and that's not what you want. You need to take a knife and clear off your pastry cutter every now and then. And I think that's probably good and that is what the whole mixture looks like after done with that. And then I'm going to take my one cup of milk and my spoon and just mix it all together. This has resulted in a fairly moist dough, so I think I'm probably going to need to add a bit extra flour. So, flour my counter in my hands. I'm going to be quite a bit more generous with this flour than I normally am. And also just sprinkle some over the bowl. There we go, that's a bit easier to work with, maybe a little more. out onto the counter. Just mix it up a bit to incorporate that extra flour. You don't want to be kneading it, you know, um, I was just kneading it a little bit there, but with biscuits, you really don't want to knead it. But I'm going to take my rolling pin. Roll it out so that it's Fairly thin. My pastry knife, make sure it's not stuck to the counter. And then 
I'm going to take my casserole. And just plunk the whole thing on top. Adjust it a bit. And then trim. And there we go. One chicken pot pie, sorry, leaky chicken pot pie, uh, ready to go in the oven. So I've had my oven preheating to 375 the entire time I've been doing this, and I also have a pan in the bottom of my oven, just on the off chance that this whole mess boils over. It's unlikely, but it could happen. So into the oven it goes, uncovered, and uh, it'll probably bake for uh, 45 minutes to an hour at 375. So now it's been about an hour and it is done. So here we have leaky chicken pot pie and that is what the F is for dinner tonight.